Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today we will talk about this beautiful piece of puzzle here, which is called the Pento T. It is a classic jigsaw puzzle, but the parts are cut in a very special way. The puzzle was designed by Jean-Claude Constantine in Germany and provided to me by Puzzle Master Canada. I put you also the link in the description where you can buy this one, but better sooner as later because there are just a few available. All pieces are cut by laser very precisely and fit very well together, which gives us the effect that you can hide these parts in plain sight. That means if I move them over here, they will just disappear and you cannot identify or it's very hard to identify afterwards the edges of each part. I just demonstrated here to you in one more with one more part and this is such a nice effect. I really love this puzzle. But at the same time, it is not only looking beautiful, it's also very, very difficult. One of the, or for me, it's the most difficult jigsaw puzzle I've ever seen. Therefore, it deserves also my highest difficulty rating of 5 out of a maximum of 5. And I will demonstrate you after the spoiler break how to assemble it. I show you the position of each part. But um, if you want to do it or try it yourself first, just try it. I will also explain a little bit about why it was so difficult for me to solve and what trick I used to finally solve it. More of that after the spoiler break. What makes this puzzle so difficult to assemble is that you have when the when you receive the puzzle and it's assembled, you have no points for orientation, you have no clear understanding how the single parts look like, and also all the parts are shaped unique. So, when I for example want to start with this part, I have no idea in what location I have to put it. I also have no idea in what orientation I have to put it. And even if a lot of the parts have some corner-like shape, this is the one that belongs here, but it can also be that, it's, um, that it needs to be assembled somehow um, yeah, in the corner in another orientation. So it's very, very difficult because you can vary a lot of positions, you can vary a lot of orientations. And for me, it was nearly impossible to find a solution. Anyway, I solved it somehow. But first I show you the sequence now how you can assemble it. So you start with this L-shaped piece. Put in here the next piece. So just do it quickly. The next piece over here. This piece of the puzzle over here and they fit very well together very low uh, le very um, few amount of free play and I just assemble it step by step and ah this one I leave for later I just would, would like to show you this nice effect again when the parts disappear just in front of our, our eyes this is such a nice effect from my point of view. Therefore, I just show it to you again. This one over here, this one over here, and these two over here. And now, when I finish the last parts, I love this effect when the parts drop in and just disappear over here, one over here and they fit so well they just slide in it's just satisfying and here we go so also when i move the puzzle like this you can see that it slightly moves and where the connections are but it's actually it doesn't help you well, how did i find the solution for this one i was not able to do it i, I tried several hours to find the right assembly sequence and orientation but it was really impossible to do for me and then i used a trick to do it 
I will just demonstrate it to you by showing you the surface of this puzzle in macro mode. What you see here now is the magnified surface of the puzzle and you can see that there is some kind of a structure in the surface. And what I did is, I took me one piece of the puzzle and I compared this structure here step by step and was hoping to find a right combination of parts. In the beginning it can be very very difficult to do. I just demonstrated to you here with two pieces that fit together. So I combined all possible, the parts in all possible ways and tried to find this structure or this pattern here on the surface to match each other. And if it matches, it's visible, but you need to look very precisely to notice it. And here you can see now the pattern matches, so the parts are obviously in the right position. At that point I was not sure if it will work, or if the pattern will repeat and maybe it was not possible for me to do, but it worked out well. And with that trick, I call it a trick, I was able to solve the puzzle. So let me just put all the parts back together on the base plate. And I'm sorry if I have to say that, but I just need to do it again. Just assemble these two remaining parts and hide them here in plain sight. It's just too amazing. It's really great. Anyway, if you like this episode, give me a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as to my Facebook channel. If you're interested to see the future videos as one of the first ones, just hit the bell and you will be automatically um, notified by YouTube. And until next time, keep on puzzling.